Ay, perdón. Good. It's not bad for you, lost. No. We're good. There's no no victims down there. No showering. No victims. <laughs> Filmfestivals.com and I've been doing so for longer than I thought I would. No, no, I, mean, no, I love it. That's the reason I'm here because I love festivals, I love traveling, I love making pictures and meeting uh, business partners and people. And probably this is the number one in any of these categories. So you can do anything, you can shoot anything, it's going to turn nice. I've uh, been doing this since I left uh, my Sony and then 20th Century Fox UGC company. But I love festivals, that's what we're here about, and most of you here are festival friends. Uh, for both of you who are not, you know that there are probably 15,000, well, let's say 12 to 13,000. And when we started filmfestivals.com, there were probably four or 5,000. And I must say, who is from the USA here? You guys are responsible for, for <laughs> half of that from, from now. We have in database on filmfestivals.com probably yeah, five or six thousand from the US only. It's crazy. Oh, filmfestivals.com for your information in case you, like me, hate the website because it's not very nice. It's a bit ugly, but it's powerful. It's uh, important because mostly because of the database. We have 170,000 in uh, subscribers in the database and we are working on making the website more friendly it's been taking us about uh, a year and a half it's not over so uh, what's important is who's reading it and who's receiving the newsletter uh, in brief and not more than that there is news from that we provide with a team of uh, journalists some of them are here and friends Vanessa and the correspondents all over the world and we we have, beside our, let's say, editorial aspect, we have uh, user-generated content uh, from filmmakers who want to promote, self-promote, or festivals that are looking for new, fresh talent from the circuit. And the database has those guys, those groups, those targets, plus all buyers, all sales agents, all media attending Cannes, Berlin, the Sundance, and, and Toronto, meaning we probably have uh, the biggest uh, press listing in the world of only the key media attending. Well, in a well, one sec. I also have a second hat, which is festival agent. Uh, because of my days at Sony and Fox, I love marketing, and because I know so many festival directors. Uh, I mean, personally, maybe let's say 1,500, and have the rest, like 12,000 in database, I know I can help many ways. So when I see a film I like, I give it help, marketing-wise, title, trailer, you name it, but mostly giving them the right guidance on where to start. It's not easy, everyone wants to start in Cannes, but you know, not everyone is Brad Pitt or Tarantino or you name it. So um, I'm, I'm helping them and introduce them and lobby and all that. Right. But the reason we're here is first is because I like sharing wines. <laughs> uh, we've been doing this for about 20 years. We started in Paris and we had so many happy people that, uh, like, not drunk, but happy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is 
small place for sharing good wines. And, uh, and it's interesting and important uh, that festival directors meet together. They have lots of things to share. But, so that's the kind of primary target. But I wanted to take this opportunity also to introduce you people I respect and think you will be uh, respecting and enjoying meeting and, and enjoying that movie mostly. Uh, since uh, I think uh, 10 years or so, we are handpicking giving out awards, which I proudly named the movies that matter, no, movie that matter award in Canada. Basically, films with a purpose, films with a meaning, films that can transform, can change, can uplift, can make people live together in peace or at least live in wars. And the, I must confess, the idea came from um, working with for Sony, where I remember right there on the closet, uh, Lord Putnam, when he was hired, said, yeah, I'm going to change the, the motto of the company. So we, we can, from now on, it's going to be Sony, movies that matter to you. Matter, that matter, of course. I said, wow, really? Really? Yeah. And frankly, well, I must say, oh, as much as I, I was impressed by this idea, he stayed two years doing this, and of course, for a major studio, it's not. I, I mean, it's not easy making movies that matter instead of making blockbusters. Mm -hmm. But well, what is extraordinary, and that's why I want to kind of take on his mission, is he's been doing it all his career. After that, at BFI in London, and all that, he's helping, and he's helping people that make movies. It's my honor, distinct honor as founder of filmfestivals.com to give the uh, movie that matters the award to can I go down now? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my name is uh, Pritten Ambrose. Try, like, try say it again. <laughs> Pritten Ambrose. Yeah, yeah. Pritten Ambrose. Pritten Ambrose. My parents made it up. Uh, it's a made up name. It's not it's cool. this, the first choice is John. No. The second choice was made up. So they went, I'm so glad they went to Britain Ambrose. Yeah. It's Britain, but with the P. I come from the United Kingdom. Um, I started my filmmaking career when I was 18. And now, and then at the same time, I started my charity foundation at 18. My father, being a businessman, told me I'm an insane person. Because <laughs> all I should be thinking about was making money, not giving it away. Uh, my mother supported it, but she told me, please don't become the next Buddha. Don't leave your family. So when I told her I'm going to Ukraine to make this film, to the war zone, they were not happy. Um, I've just come back from Ukraine, which is a war zone. Three, five days ago I escaped with my security team. And now I'm here presenting the trailer, launching the trailer here at Khan. So Ukraine needs help and I'm hoping, can I go home now, we'll make sure that children all over Ukraine that have been affected by this war and children all over the world will be able to go back home. That's why I'm making this film because home is so important. So, thank you. Incredible. Uh, I will share with each of you a link to his trailer, and I know you will be as moved as I was. And uh, I sent a crew to film to film him, make an interview, and they were in tears. Can you believe that? And that's uh, just a sign of what well, can't wait to see the full movie. Now, the first is um, a 15 minutes long documentary. That tells us how to uh, how to empower uh, the um, on the local level uh, throughout the world, and especially in the in the areas where let's say uh, less developed countries, uh, so that they can fight against any pandemics. They learned this during the, the COVID crisis that instead of saying from top to bottom put some masks on, do this, have a vaccine, do this, do that, uh, without talking to the, the people who have the ears of the locals. Uh, there are so many places in the world where they don't have any internet and no TV, so they didn't hear everything we heard about. Um, so it's important to get things uh, a little bit more from down to, to top. So it's about resilience, it's about trying to uh, uh, vaincre. Uh, Win, win, win over the next Overcome. pandemics mm. from what we learned and what we do better on the local level. Mostly in Africa, but the, the, the film shows a, a lot of, uh, it's a documentary that uh, gives a 
voice to many people that were involved and, 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 and try to put this message. So I believe this is a very important message and I also believed uh, that festivals could help to spread the message, but it's in their hands. Uh, the film is on the WHO platform. And